I want you to think about what it would feel like when you wake up in the morning and you got to do whatever you wanted to do based on what your soul urges were, based on what your higher self was guiding you to do. I want you to think about what it would feel like when you wake up in the morning and you got to do whatever you wanted to do based on what your soul urges were, based on what your higher self was guiding you to do. You didn't have to go to a job you didn't like anymore. You didn't have to focus on a project or something that didn't light you up. You didn't have to pretend that you care about something that you really don't care about that's draining you. And you just got to wake up with enthusiasm, with passion, with purpose, with excitement, with anticipation, as you move about your day, creating from a place of alignment, from a place of divine inspiration. And you got to follow your soul urges every single day. And that was your life, ultimate freedom to be able to follow the little spiritual breadcrumbs that are laid out before you, that get you uh, closer and closer to your authentic truth and more in alignment with your purpose. And that is just your, your story on repeat, just m more alignment, more expansion, more creativity, more inspiration, everything flowing. Imagine for a second what that would feel like. I want you to really tap into and close your eyes. If you have to rewind this video, I want you to go back and rewind it with your eyes closed this time. And I want you just to envision that for yourself of what that would feel like. Because when you tap into the essence of what it is that you truly desire, the core essence of your desire, that's the feeling behind it. That's that's the why that's pulling you through. That's why you're doing all this, right? You want to be in alignment with your soul, with the essence of who you truly are, which is freedom, which is ease, which is creation, creativity. And so if you're at this place where you don't believe yet that this is possible for you and you're up with anxiety at night because you have to wake up and do something the next day that's maybe out of alignment, some job or something that's not in alignment with you and you're just up all night um, or it's really nagging at you, this feeling of playing small, this knowing that you're meant for more, knowing that this is possible for you, but yet not knowing how, how to get there. The steps aren't clear but you know, but you know something is, is bigger there waiting for you to step into it. I want you to go back to the feeling of what that would feel like and begin to cultivate that feeling in your day-to-day -day experience now, before it shows up. What is the core essence of your desires? What does it feel like? Does it feel like security? Does it feel like safety? Does it feel like pleasure? Does it feel like ease? Does it feel like satisfaction? Does it feel like joy? Does it feel like passion, inspiration? Like what does it feel like? I want you to really take some time to, to tune into the energy, the frequency, the essence of what that feels like. And recognize that there's a lot of reasons why the spiritual teachers, healers, and coaches that find me uh, have this as a common problem where they feel like they're playing small. And, and I would say beyond imposter syndrome, beyond the fear of rejection, what's really nagging at them from taking the steps that they are already guided to take 
right? Because at this point, you know too much. You know the spiritual laws, you know law of attraction, you know, you know how your thoughts create your reality, you know all your childhood wounds, you know all of this stuff. So what's really holding you back when you have all the tools and all the techniques and all of this knowledge at your disposal? What is it really that's holding you back? And the thing that's really holding you back is what if I take these steps, what if I do this and go for my dream and it doesn't work out, then what? What if I do this and it doesn't work? What if it, What if you've already tried a few things and they haven't worked out? And so you fail, quote unquote fail again, right? What could be worse of a feeling than going for your dream the only thing that you know is going to align you with what you're really here to, to do and experience as far as your purpose goes and your passions, right? What if you really go all in on yourself and it doesn't work? Then where are you going to be, right? That is one of the most crippling fears that keeps spiritual teachers, healers, lightworkers, and coaches from fully stepping into their power, showing up consistently online, and really sharing their message with the world and going all in on themselves. And so then they play small, they procrastinate, they go to bed each night knowing that they're selling themselves short, and they wake up the next day at doing the same thing over again, wishing and wanting and hoping and feeling that lack, feeling that huge gap between where they are now and where they want to be. And underneath all of that is a huge belief that you're not going to succeed. And so why try? Because if you really truly knew in your heart of hearts that you are completely supported with your purpose work and what, with what your soul is here to do, then you would risk rejection. You would risk looking stupid online in a live stream or sharing your message and messing up. You would risk um, not being liked. You would risk all of those things at the end of the day if you truly trusted no matter what without a shadow of a doubt that you were supported and that it was all going to work out in the end. If you truly, truly knew that it was all gonna work out in the end, you would take the leap. You would make the video, you'd post the podcast episode, you'd, you'd do whatever you're being called to do that you keep procrastinating on and keep circling around that in the end just frustrates you and makes you feel more self-doubt and fear because you're buying into the belief that you're not supported. You're choosing to take on this whole journey as the personality small self, the one that has doesn't have the clear vision, the one that doesn't have the clarity, the one that doesn't know, the one that is not inspired, the one that is always looking for threat prevention and how to avoid something negative, right? If you were truly tapped into your soul, you would know. And if when you know, you're willing to do the things that will get you out of your comfort zone, that will cause fear, but at the end of the day will liberate you because now you are one step closer to your goal and your desire and you looked fear in the face and you did it anyways. And so, if you're up at night wondering, why am I playing so small? Damn it, why do I keep playing so small? I see so many other people online doing what I wanna do and they're you know, semi-successful or successful or they're super successful. There's like all these degrees of women that I look at online and they're doing all these things and I just keep playing small. And it's a suffocating feeling. It's a suffocating, soul-sucking feeling that's never gonna go away. And so you have to ask yourself, do you believe you're divinely guided or not? Do you trust in divine timing and, and, the, and all the downloads and everything that you're receiving or not? Does it feel like the time that you're really being called to step forward or not? 
if it does and you know this but you continue to take actions like you don't you're acting from the small self and you will continue to get the same results that you know are a result of acting from the small self which is everything that's not in alignment with your true desires goals and dreams and so i just leave you with this question do you trust are you divinely guided I mean, do you think that your soul is sending you these sing signs and synchronicities and messages just for fun, just for kicks, right? There's a reason for it. You are part of divine intelligence. You have divine intelligence pumping through your veins. It beats your heart. It, it digests your food. It grows your hair and nails. It's in all things. It's in the phone or the laptop you're watching this video on. The energy that creates everything is pumping through your veins. You're so close to it. You can't even like, you're so close to it. It's as close to you as your next breath, but you're holding it away because you're stuck in belief systems. You're stuck in the mind. The one that doubts, the one that doesn't know, the one that isn't clear. And so this is one thing that I'm so passionate about helping spiritual entrepreneurs free themselves from. So if this is resonating with you, I'd love to have your comments and questions below this video or check out the Soul Alliance Success Masterclass below this video. Wherever you happen to be watching it, you should find the URL because this is so important. Your mission is so much bigger than you. You're being called to step forward. You already know this. If you've watched, if you're still watching this video this, this long in, then you are you are this is your wake up call to get out of your own way and this message is for you this is it's time to get out of your own way stop playing small take the next steps trust that you are guided and let the universe source divine intelligence god whatever you want to refer to it reveal to you the next step on your path which will only be revealed to you when you take a step on your path. So the path is lit as you walk it. And as you take that next step, another step will be revealed to you. And some doors in your life will close and some doors in your life will open. And the only guidance I can give you there is follow the doors that open. Don't try to fight the doors that are closing in your face. They're closing for a reason, you know? There is such a bigger picture at play. Trust it. Do you trust it? Can you trust it? So I hope this video finds you well. If this is resonating with you, then we probably need to chat and I would love to do that. But I always like to have people watch my Soul Align Success Masterclass first because I really only want to hop on the call with women that truly, truly resonate with this uh, message and the mission and make sure it's in complete alignment for both of us. So if this is resonating with you, take the Soul Line Success Masterclass, make sure that's resonating with you, and then you will get a special invite to hop on a 60-minute strategy session with me where I will help you come up with an aligned blueprint for your business, step-by-step -step process to help you go from A to Z to really share your message and your gift in the world um, while also creating the lifestyle that you deserve and desire as well. So if that sounds good to you, then I hope to see you inside the masterclass. And I look forward to another episode with you very soon. Namaste.